Hello, welcome to our native garden. So we have two demonstration gardens here at the County Administration Building. This is a zero scape garden or a dry prairie garden. So we have a very wide diversity of species in our native garden. All of these are adapted to very dry, sunny conditions. You could uh, find plants to fit any type of habitat on your property. Even if it's a shady, wet spot, you can find species that would do well in that environment. We really want to see a lot more native plants integrated into our landscaping, whether it's your home or corporate campus. Native plants have a wide variety of benefits. Uh, one of the main things is how they manage water. And so our native plants uh, have deep root structures that go down 5, 10, 15 feet, and they create a, a network of, uh, of roots that act like a sponge. So basically as water lands here, it infiltrates down, gets stored in that sponge layer of, of roots, infiltrates down into the groundwater table and recharges our aquifers. Uh, it then is either evaporated, transpired or held in the soil. So basically any drop of water that lands here stays here. It is not contributing to flooding anywhere else in the county. And uh, we've got flooding problems uh, here in the county. Our built environment was built for uh, rainfall patterns that we had 50 years ago. Over the past 50 years, rainfall, the amount of rainfall that we've been getting has increased steadily and we're getting it in fewer and fewer storm events, which means the intensity of the storm is increasing at the same time as the amount of rainfall that we're getting is increasing. And our built environment is just not built to manage that. So native plants are going to be one of the most powerful tools that we have in our toolbox to manage that increased precipitation. In addition to providing all this hydrologic benefits, it's also providing aesthetic beauty uh, and then it's providing wildlife habitat. So all of our native pollinators evolved with our native plants. So by providing native plants, you're providing habitat for our native pollinators and creating a self-sustaining system that we can enjoy as well as keeping it for future generations.